Okay, here's the glass slippers. Hey, hey. Oh, and Harry, this says fragile. Do you know what that means? Yeah, do you? <laughs> you tell me. You tell me. You tell fragile means, uh, <laughs> uh delicate, uh, breakable. Okay, okay, and I say fragile means uh, sickly. Weak, like my grandma Baroni. She is very fragile. Like she can't sit down without breaking herself, so she has to stand around all the time like a statue. Pigeons fly in just to sit on her. Hey, you win. Hey, you win. Get in the back, huh? Hey, okay. Next time, don't mess with me, you know. And I love myself. Now there are just some questions not worth finding the answers to if it means getting your throat cut. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi. Listen, Rollers, you gotta help me. I need help. I mean, if anybody needed help, I need help. So will you help me? And they say the art of conversation is dead. Would you expand the help thing? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. So, okay, Benny called me this morning at the bank, and tonight, yeah. Rhoda, he's taking me to meet his parents. And I, I have enough trouble talking to regular people. What am I going to say to future in-laws? I just... I don't know. I don't, maybe I should just return what I bought and tell Benny I can't go. And then I just hold it. Wait. What'd you buy? Well, I, I want to make a nice impression, you know. I, I, I really want him to like me. You bought a house gift. I bought a bra. Uh -huh. <laughs> a bra? Yeah. Brenda, you haven't worn a bra since high school. Uh -huh. I know, I know. I'm t they've gone up. The price, not the size. <laughs> but it's worth it. I, I do want to put my best foot forward, so to speak. I, <laughs> so will we help me, huh? What is it? What can I do? So you come with me. Oh, no. I don't feel like wearing a bra. <laughs> Nothing, not this. I just, I just not up to doing family, you know? I mean, doing family. Well, you know, saying all the things that they want to hear, you know, laying on the compliments, heavy with the charm, being incredibly phony. Rhoda, you're so good at that. <laughs> Friend, darling, you know I love you. You know I would do anything in the world for you. And you must know how deeply it hurts me to tell you I can't go. You see that? Well, you see how good you are at that, Rhoda? <laughs> oh, come on, please. Rhoda, I want Benny's parents to like me more than anything. Come, uh, come with me. You make me feel secure. I need you, Rhoda. I really do. Huh? All right, I'll go. Boy, I'm not bad at this myself. <laughs> going to get them. Why aren't they here yet? Because it's not time. Maybe they're not coming. I can't blame them. I'm scared and I know you. <laughs> Relax, son. It's going to be all right. If you like her, we'll like her. Even if we don't like her, we'll like her. <laughs> now, did you clean your room? Put your things away? Oh, Irene, he's a grown man. Don't ask him if he's cleaned his room. Did you clean it? I cleaned it. <laughs> That's it, they're here. Okay. Wow. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm tense. I'm, I'm really tense. Yeah, me too. You look tight. Loosen up. I can't. <laughs> Benny, do you think perhaps when your folks invited us over, they intended for us to enter? Oh, yeah, right. Come in. Uh, Mom? Dad? Dad? Uh, here she is. Brenda. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin. Oh, please call us Irene and Lloyd. I'm Irene, he's Lloyd. <laughs> and I'm Rhoda. Uh, perhaps Benny has mentioned me. No. no. <laughs> oh, please, come sit down. Benny, get their coats. Well, yeah. well Lloyd and Irene, you're... Your, your home is, is, is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh. Well, thank you. I did it myself. I thought so. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I said to myself, you know, this home is just filled with love and care. <laughs> love and care. <laughs> beautiful flower. Too. I mean, you know, I, I just love fresh flowers. They're artificial. Even better. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. That's the beauty of plastic. <laughs> He's here. Oh. He's here. That's my big brother, Earl. You're going to love him. He's such a zany guy. Watch this. <laughs> Talk about zany. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mom, Dad, great news. I'm putting you both in a home. Uh... <laughs> you say that every week. One of these days, I'm going to mean it. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Oh, yeah. He gets me every time with that. Hey, Earl, here she is over here on the couch. The most beautiful, wonderful girl in the world, Brenda. Hi. Hey, and who's this? Oh, that's just a sister. Oh. Nice to meet you, Earl. Rhoda, want to say yeah. something great? Sure, Betty, what? Grace, stand right here. Okay. Earl, guess a weight. Guess I wait. No, don't guess I wait. This woman weighs. I don't want, I know what I want. 110. Uncanny. Huh. <laughs> Check on dinner and get us a nibble. Oh, and I'll break out the bubbly. <laughs> Benny, I'll, uh, I'll help your mom. No, 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 forget it. Forget it. Just stay out of her way, I mean, Look, mom used to be a waitress. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And she was a great one, too. One time she got a $20 tip. Really? Wow. Yeah. She served a party of 87 people. <laughs> so, Rhoda, what do you do? Uh, I design costumes. You, you know, uh, gorillas, witches, bears. Didn't know gorillas wore costumes. <laughs> what do you do? Rhoda, my life is devoted to the environment. My dream is to make the air we breathe safer and cleaner for all mankind. I sell mopeds. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it is. It is. Even though my ex-wife didn't think so. No, I used to say it all the time. Earl, your job is dull. You're dull. You're boring. Dull and boring. Boring and dull. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> You've got to forget about it, son. It's over and done with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to tell you my troubles. Rhoda, Rhoda, I don't do this for everybody. But I can get you a deal on a puch. What? It's a moped. Watch out. Coming through. Hot stuff. All right, everybody. Let's have a toast for Brenda and Benny. Hey, Earl, why don't you do the toast? Uh, Earl really does a great toast. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, to uh, Brenda and Benny, uh, may you only know happiness. Uh, may you never suffer the way I did when my wife left me uh, miserable. <laughs> may you never know the pain I knew, uh, the agony, the humiliation. Uh, not to mention the loneliness and uh, deep, deep emptiness. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> you want anything? Uh, no, no, thanks. I'm about to burst as it is. <laughs> Brenda, you're doing a lot of wiggling. I can't help it. I feel like the hunchback of Notre Dame, only backwards. <laughs> Listen, uh, I have to get something off my chest. Oh, so do I. <laughs> I was just going to say I took the wishbone. Oh, Lloyd, it's not you. I think she just went to uh, buff up her lip gloss. <laughs> hey, Earl, why don't you show Rhoda your magic trick? Huh? <laughs> this is a great magic trick. He does it every time. I, I never figure out how he does it. Maybe Rhoda doesn't want me to do it. Are you crazy? Who's not going to want to see that trick? Listen, if he doesn't want to do the trick... <laughs> I can't let go. Try. <laughs> He's a card. An absolute card. <sighs> Hi. I'm back. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally figured out how to spell relief. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll do the dishes in the morning. It's getting late, Lloyd. It's nine o'clock. Oh, my, it is late. <laughs> now, you kids enjoy. Sorry we have to eat and run, but I get up at four. Because uh, of your job? No, because I go to bed at nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was nice to meet both 
of you. Yes. Yeah. Well, good night, kids. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> We should be leaving. You know, I want to get home and uh, rest my nose. Gee, do you have to go? Oh, you bet. Huh. <laughs> hey, Brenda, let me walk you to the elevator. Oh, thanks, Rhoda. Good night. Yeah, bye bye. Rhoda? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you, Earl. Same here. Oh, and Rhoda, there's something I should tell you. What? I want you. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, surprise, surprise, look what came for you. Oh, no, please, no. Not another gift from Earl. Oh, this is the best word yet, Rhoda. No guy ever gave me a fish made out of candy. Closest thing I ever got was a fish made out of fish. <laughs> the kiss is a kiss. A rose is a rose. Be my love, and I'll make more coins come out of your nose. You made coins come out of your nose? What are you waiting for, Prince? Why won't he listen to me? Why, this guy, I told him clearly that I never want to see him again. Well, what's wrong with him? Oh, Tina, look, he cracks corny jokes. He tells the most boring stories. He does these embarrassing tricks. He's... The man is a nerd. Mm. Does he have a friend? <laughs> hey, Rhoda. Hey, hey, hi. Well, hi, Benny. Hi, hi Rhoda. I, I, I got to talk to you. Benny, is this anything about your brother Earl? Let's go in here so we can have some privacy. In where? Okay, right over here. Hey, 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 hold it, hold it. You can't go in there. That's a try-on room for people who rent costumes. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, I'll rent the costume. Benny. Oh, yeah? For what? Uh, for about five minutes. Benny? Benny! Benny, this is utterly ridiculous. Now, look, I know that you love your brother Earl. I know he's your older brother and that you look up to him. And that's all very great. But that doesn't mean that I have to go out with him. Benny, why are you putting on this costume? I don't want Jack to get mad at me. Besides, I think I might look cute. <laughs> don't ask me why. I can't explain it. Earl is hot for you. You're going to get a kick out of this. He thinks you're sexy. You know, Benny, um, I'm not going to stand here and discuss sex appeal with a man in a chicken suit. Earl <laughs> used to stand up for me when I was a kid. He always used to defend me. Yeah. The only problem is he still thinks of me as a, as a you know, his kid brother. Yeah. He never really notices me as a person. Now, if I could get him to have a date with you. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I think he'd really, you know, kind of respect me as a person. But I mean, you can't no. ask me to do that. Please. Oh, you please. can't, Benny. Please, we're going to be family. Benny. We're be family. I know I'm going to regret this, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All thanks. right. Oh, Benny. Okay. Benny. Oh, now, stop oh, kissing oh, Benny. Oh, you are packing me. Hey, uh, the time's up. <laughs> well, you going to take it? Uh, I don't think so. It's not me. <laughs> Where's Rhoda? You know, they should be here by now. Relax, they're gonna be here. Maybe he had trouble parking his motorcycle. <laughs> motorcycle? Earl's bringing Rhoda here on a motorcycle? It's my brother. The guy walks on the wild side. <laughs> I, tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if your sister wasn't crazy about him already. Don't come near me. Rhoda, Please, just Rhoda I'm sorry you broke your shoe. I am too. Oh, there they are. Now, look, let's just not talk about it, okay? Let's have a nice evening here, please. No, 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 no. no. Rhoda, Rhoda, it's my fault. You see, I should have told you. I should have said, Rhoda, keep your high heels out of the spokes. You should have told me that. Also, Earl, you should have told me we were coming by motorcycle. Hey, 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 not to worry, not to worry. I know that there is something that can get axle grease out of silk. <laughs> now, listen, Rhoda, no argument. I'm paying for that. Uh, I have the feeling I am paying for this. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Oh. Brenda. Brenda, you're a lucky girl. In this family, Benny is the catch. So, how's it going, champ? The woman's crazy about me. Yeah. Oh, Rhoda, Rhoda, 
What do you think of this place, huh? Isn't this something? Every magician in New York works here. You're gonna love it. Mm, that's what you said about the motorcycle. <laughs> so, how about a drink, Toots? Oh, don't call me that. Okay, okay. What do you have, pumpkin? Uh, scotch. A very large bottle. Oh, no, you don't drink. I'll learn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the magic hat. I am the great Waldo. And for my first trick, I would like to have a volunteer from the audience. <laughs> How about this shy young lady in the satin jacket? Rhoda, he means you. Oh, no. Yeah. Why is this happening to me? Because I promised him five bucks to pick you. <laughs> Some date, huh? Date of dates. Good night. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Here she is. Here she is. Come no, no, no. Come on. Earl. Earl, please. I'm not going up there. Earl, why are you doing this to me? Play with her, Waldo. Play with her now, but she's going home with me. No, she isn't. She's not doing that. Let's give her a nice hand. No, for I Open your mouth, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I did the trick. You look as if you could use a drink. Yes, I could, at the table uh, there. I'd just like... step right over here. Lean your head to one side. <laughs> now that we've got it in, we have to get it out. The way we do that, bend your elbow. Very good. Uh -huh. When I say go, I want you to pump like this. Okay. It's attractive. <laughs> Start pumping. You want to check out my knee for yogurt? I'll see you there. Oh, no, not anymore, please. Please. Look what we have here. I'm a regular dairy farm. I don't think Rhoda's enjoying this. She, she, she's doing great. Really great, Punky. <laughs> what are you hiding up your sleeve? I'm not yeah. hiding anything. Just cuffs. It's my blouse. I, I look, Waldo. The egg was the last trick. Okay, I've been a good sport. Right? Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Okay. You have you. been a good sport. But just go. what's the <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Rhoda, I really had a wonderful <laughs> time. I'm sorry. The wind. <laughs> All right, Earl. Come in. I'll make coffee. <laughs> and maybe a little cognac for two? I don't know that I have cognac. I... <laughs> Oh, I'm hoping against hope I'm wrong, but are you trying to turn me on? What do you think, baby face? I think you just blew coffee, Earl. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. You're the shy type. You want to start slow. Wrong again, Earl. Good night. Rhoda, Rhoda, you don't like it fast, you don't like it slow, I give up. Earl, Earl, if this relationship of ours is going to mean anything, we have to be totally honest with one another. I never want to see you again. What exactly are you trying to say, Rhoda? Me, Earl. Now listen, please, carefully. You're a nice person. One might even say, well-meaning. I am not the one to say that, but... <laughs> Earl, the truth is this. I went out with you because of Brenda. Brenda, whom I love. I love my little sister. She's in love with your brother, Benny. Benny came to where I work, begged me to go out with you. So... <laughs> Never 
tried it with my own nose before. <laughs> Is that all of them? <laughs> As I was saying, Earl, I went out with you to be nice because we're going to be family. But I tell you, Earl, family or no family, you are the worst date I have ever had in my entire life. Well, I guess I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, I, I knew all along you weren't having a good time. And Rhoda, you know, it's really too bad because you're one of the best dates I ever had. What? <laughs> oh, really? Rhoda, Rhoda, you're really a terrific girl. I mean, really a good sport. Look, after all you went through tonight, y you didn't complain. You, you didn't sulk. Y you didn't go for my eyes. <laughs> Rhoda, I, I could just kick myself that, that you didn't have as, as good a time as I did. Hey, wait, Earl, hold on, wait a minute, listen. Maybe I exaggerated before, you know, maybe you're not the absolute worst date that I ever had. Really? Yeah, I, I mean that. I, I mean, when I take a look down memory lane, uh, as a matter of fact, I see some much worse pile-up. Rhoda, you're really very sweet, but you know something? I think I'm right up there with those creeps. No, no, wait, no, no, Earl, no. Compared to them, you are a wonderful, wonderful guy. Does this mean you'll go out with me? Never! <laughs> okay, okay. I can take a hint. But Rhoda, I might as well tell you, I'm not giving up on you. You must. I want you and I'm going to get you. No, no, you're not. Every time I see you, I'm going to give it another try. Don't. And Rhoda, we're going to see each other. We're going to be family. This is true. <laughs> Good night, Earl. Good night. I'll see you at the wedding, Earl. Any anniversaries? Well. Thanksgiving? My father's birthday? My mother's Good birthday? Good night, Earl. Good night, Chris. No, please don't call me that. Good night, honey. No, I hate that too. <laughs>